Today I have an announcement. I have set a new petition on the internet throughout the world. It is on the petitionsite.com called Halt the Copenhagen Treaty. This message is to be sent to all the delegates and people throughout the world to why the Copenhagen Treaty will be the biggest mistake of world peace and international treaties. The reason why Copenhagen is a mistake is because it will not only be a threat to world peace, but would create a global regime, a one world government. This one world government will not solve our nation's problems. It will only make them worse. It will destroy the economy throughout the world and build, and build a one world government. The reason I speak is to speak it clear, to speak it clear as my last attempt to try to bring out the truth and to try to tell what will happen if this Copenhagen Treaty passes throughout the world. This message will be an international message on both YouTube and other video sites. It may also be shared on the Pirate Bay and other video websites. <coughs> the Copenhagen Treaty will lead to international tensions. It will lead to worldwide revolutions and, uh, and other forms of civil violence. It will lead to more terrorism attacks and more terrorism recruits. It will lead to more international violence and will turn the world chaotic. It is because People are already fed up with governments throughout the world. Governments everywhere have problems. And the people are looking for a better government in their country. All this Copenhagen Treaty will do will lead to a worldwide global regime that will control every facet of human activity. If this succeeds, there will be everything from a global carbon tax to a worldwide government management, the Constitution of the United States will be no more. If we let this go through, if we sit and do nothing, if we do not peacefully stand up and say our viewpoints against the Copenhagen Treaty, it may lead to a nightmarish future, a future where we could be taxed on our breathing, animals will be taxed, Everything will be taxed because humans exhale carbon and trees take the carbon to produce oxygen. To simply reduce carbon will mean we would have to build more trees or kill human beings. That's right. I said it. That in order to cut carbon effectively, you would have to kill millions of human beings, which is population world reduction. This cannot be denied. It is the truth. How else can you cut carbon? You could try cutting cars, but they can still claim that there's too much carbon. And then the next thing after cutting cars is human beings. I am against population world reduction. It will only lead to more and more terrorist attacks and more and more people joining terrorist groups. Because if people know they're going to die for the environment, they're going to get upset. People are going to start treating the government as their enemy. It will lead to more civil unrest. It will lead to more martial laws throughout the world. It will lead to international unrest and lead the world away from peaceful aim. If the environmentalists want to achieve their goal of saving the environment, I suggest doing it in a peaceful manner, in a manner that does not require a worldwide regime. I suggest that local 
towns be the ones to start deciding what they think they need to do or what they think is best. Let the local towns decide. Let the counties decide. Let the states decide. Let the countries decide. Don't let a worldwide regime decide for you. I speak for the people. The people, the poor people, the middle class, and the rich. Well, not the rich, but <clears throat> I speak for all humans. But the fact is, even the rich will be targeted. They will become poor like us. And the only thing that will exist is the super rich. So in a way, I am also speaking for the rich. But I don't like how they have too much money while people have too little. But I have come here to speak about how the carbon taxes will ruin the economy and will kill the poor families. It may also lead to famine and massive suffering. If we let these, these carbon taxes go through and cutting carbon, there is a chance that if we start cutting carbon and killing humans, it will also kill the trees and start killing the planet slowly. Because if we start taking what's very natural to the earth, there is a chance that trees will die. And when trees die and wither away with lack of carbon, it will lead the earth into peril. The earth needs carbon because it produces oxygen. It is natural. It is a natural part of the earth. If you want to save the environment, have a tree. Have a plant in your home. Do stuff like that. Try to clean up the environment yourselves. Don't rely on Big Brother to help you. That's why I want you to sign my petition. Go to the USWGO Action Center. That's USWGO.com slash action dash center slash. And the slashes are this, or this, you know, because, you know, because, I mean, this, from this way, you know, it will look like that way. But anyways, I am trying to speak with adequate, and I am not going to get mad. I will speak only of the truth, and I will speak without partisanship. So I am not a Republican and I am not a Democrat. I am an Independent. I have never been for the GOP or anything like that. I've never been for the Democrats or the Republicans. I stand before the world and the creator of the universe to ask you all to just keep peace. Do not let international wars happen. Please. Let's halt the Copenhagen Treaty and let's discuss this. Let's discuss ways to help the planet without a totalitarian regime. When Al Gore talked of global governance, he does not know what he is saying because global governance is the end of sovereignty. It is the end of, of nations. With this, one world, one government will control the facets of life, which is dangerous because when a country usually gets taken over by a dictator, you can always go to another country or you can always fight for your country. But in a world government, if a world government were to become a dictatorship, there will be nowhere you can run, there will be nowhere you can hide, you will be executed with extreme measures. If you don't want to live in a nightmarish world, please do not support the one world government regime. Please do not support the Copenhagen Treaty. I beg of you. I beg the people that we have to find a better solution to dealing with the problems than a world government regime. We need solutions. We don't need a regime. Have a good day.
international world. And please protect world peace by going against Copenhagen.